fish it's a good source of protein. Some, like salmon and tuna, also give you omega-3s, which your body needs. But what about mercury and other contaminants? You can have cooked seafood twice per week. Each serving can be up to 6 ounces, which is the size of two decks of cards. Choose types that are lower in mercury, such as salmon, tilapia, and trout. Avoid shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish which have high levels of mercury. Spicy foods love hot sauce. Most babies can handle it and other fiery foods in your diet. But if your little one is gassy or colicky and gets diarrhea every time you sprinkle red pepper flakes over your pizza, cut back on the heat for a few weeks to see if that helps. Peppermint, parsley, and sage they're full of flavor. But some herbs may affect how much milk your body makes. For instance, Eating a lot of parsley could curb lactation. And too much sage and peppermint may cut your milk supply. For some nursing moms, even peppermint-flavored toothpaste and candies are a problem. Milk it's rarely a problem. But see how your baby does. Tell your pediatrician if your tot gets skin problems, has trouble breathing after breastfeeding, or has other symptoms. Tea as refreshing as your cup of chai or Earl Grey may be. It has some downsides. It's got caffeine, which can affect your sleep, and your babies. It may also make it harder for your body to absorb iron, which you need for energy. If you drink hot or iced tea, try not to sip it when you eat foods that are rich in iron, such as lean meat, dark, leafy greens, and fortified breakfast cereals. Eggs, peanuts, and nuts what if you aren't allergic? And you want to prevent your baby from developing an allergy? Sorry, but there's no proof that you can do that by skipping specific foods. Cutting certain foods out of your diet may make the skin condition eczema less likely for your little one. Ask your doctor or pediatrician for advice. Sugary drinks breastfeeding can make you thirstier than you usually are. If that's the case, drink a glass of water every time you breastfeed. But no matter how parched you feel. Don't go for regular sodas or fruit drinks, which give you calories without nutrition. Alcohol it's best for your baby if you don't have any booze at all. But if you do choose to drink, don't breastfeed until the alcohol has completely cleared your milk. For 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of liquor, wait at least 3 hours. Pumping doesn't speed that up. Gassy foods common culprits include bins, broccoli, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Bloating, burping, and passing gas are normal. But if your baby is gassy or has colic, avoid these foods for a few weeks to see whether they relieve the symptoms. Chocolate and coffee both have caffeine. You'll also find it in energy drinks and cola. If you're lost without your latte, limit yourself to 2-3 cups per day of the brewed kind. Or you could switch to decaf.